We want to hear from you what your say is on Hearts Bay today. Of course, it's still TV3 New Day. And so let's quickly jump into our story or our letter that we received. Now, this one says, I have been married for the past 12 years with a man who broke my virginity. Hmm, interesting. Uh, we tried to make babies, but it was not possible. I kept visiting the hospital, and after checkups, the doctor said I was okay. I asked my husband to also visit the hospital, and he refused in the beginning, but later agreed to go. He later told me the doctor said he was also okay. Now, eight years into the marriage, I mistakenly, and that has been put in inverted commas, I mistakenly had an affair with another man and got pregnant. I immediately cut contact with the man and gave the pregnancy to my husband. We lived happily ever after. It's gotten to a stage that I can't keep this secret anymore. I want to tell my husband the truth because I'm scared he may find out in the future. Funny enough, our baby has the childhood looks of my husband, but I know the child is not his what should i do what would you do in this case what advice would you give to this woman do you have any answers for her do you have any questions that you want to ask let us know via social media especially on facebook um at tv3 ghana so let us know what you think the story is on there in case you want to read it a second time to get an understanding of what the issue really is later i'll be reading the messages that come in but joining me in the studios hmm kelly's back <sighs> Good morning, how are you? Good morning, I'm well. How okay. are you? I'm fine, thank you. I'm guessing that's Absolutely. Woodin? Yes, it is. Okay, so we're matching. Thank you, Woodin, by the way. <laughs> How's your week been? Fantastic. Great. Great. All right, awesome. so Kelly is a relationship consultant. Yes. And he's here to give us uh, his uh, view yes. on the story. And also joining us is Linda. Thank you for joining us as well, Linda. Thank and I love your outfits. Thank you so, so we're, much. So we're, how do we call this one? Tripling. Yeah, we're yeah. Twinning, so, <laughs> yeah, tripling today. <laughs> Tell me, first of all, yes. when you read the letter, yes. what did you think? I thought, oh my God, I felt sorry for both of them. Okay. I, th I felt, generally speaking, nobody gets up to cheat and the partner they have chosen for the rest of their lives really to live with nobody just gets up to cheat no she you've made up your mind of all the men in the world of all the women in the world this one is going to be with me yeah you don't want to cheat with that kind of person otherwise why would you settle why for the you? person in the first place mm. so first off first off i'm not blaming anyone yeah from starters however life happens and we get into circumstances mm -hmm. I want to start by saying that um, sin is brooded in secrecy. Okay. The only way sin can prevail is if it's kept secret. Okay. And so it's, it's necessary that sin is exposed and dealt with with wisdom. Mm. This has happened and um, a child is involved. Yeah. First thing you need to do is um, go do a DNA test. Okay. And you can do a DNA test without the, the, your husband knowing what you're doing. It's, you can? It's very possible. How do you get a sample? Can I have the, can I have the, with, with the doctor? I mean, there are things, let's not go into the details, but it's very, very possible to get all the, all, everything you need. Mm. And he doesn't know that that's exactly what you're trying to do. Okay. Okay. Second thing you'd need to do is, now you've wasted so much time. In, in, in keeping and in, in, in revealing the truth, there are people who this man respects. Yeah. There are people in this marriage that you both look up to. Mm -hmm. You need to talk to them. First of all, oh, sorry. You need to understand that you have offended God, period. You have okay. broken God's rule. God so, forgives. So, yeah, yeah. God forgives. But if you do not, a uh, sin not acknowledged and accepted and and um, um asked for forgiveness for remains remains against okay. you all so right basically she needs to first of all acknowledge that she's done wrong find a way because she needs peace in her heart she mm. needs to find a way to reconcile with her husband telling him exactly what has happened with wisdom but then um after she's spoken i can see okay her. linda let me bring you in because there's a line that says i mistakenly had an affair mm. Usually, they say when a man cheats, he's having fun. But when a woman cheats, it's deliberate. She knows what she's doing because she won't just get up and cheat on her partner. Do you think it was a mistake? Well, thank you so much. Um, you see, when it comes to marriage, yeah. um, I want to put it across that when it comes to marriage, marriage is not about procreation. Okay. It is about companionship. 
that well, is the that I've is the, the opposite of this before where yeah. i've been told that marriage is basically for procreation yes that is that is what we have been made to think mm -hmm. but when you go into you know marriage is an institution yeah. i always say and it was instituted by god mm -hmm. and when he created man and he said he said that the man was alone yeah so he needed a companion mm -hmm. so in the first place we have to establish that fact that marriage isn't uh, the, the idea of marriage is not for procreation okay so i always say that children are not part of the marriage they are products of marriage precisely so okay precisely so you you, you get it no i don't <laughs> children I, mean, are not I get priority. it I, children okay are so not a marital priority no it the, is though it is you marriage consists of a man and a woman mm. family consists of a man uh, a his wife and the and children, children they come with which they can adopt god said we should multiply the earth ah so it doesn't necessarily have to be your your biological children there are children if if adopt. all of us in this world refuse to give birth there are a lot of other children to be adopted all right let, let linda land I, I, so, I totally get that now okay <laughs> so like we're saying uh, i mean mistakes do happen mm. yes so let's take it that there has been a mistake like she's saying yeah and she's gotten herself pregnant and she's in the marriage okay to me i think that what is important here is for us to look at the implications okay of whatever decision that is taken mm. if you decide to tell the man what are the implications the implications are that he's going to um he's going to know i mean depending on who the man is yeah he's going to see you as you are a cheat um yeah. you know yeah. you are a cheat how is society is also going to look at it and how is the child also going to look at you okay. as their ma the mom yeah is my mom a cheat you know so you look at these implications and then you also look at I don't know if the man who impregnated her knew, knew about it. Mm. But well, if she said she can't contact with him, so with clearly... Maybe he, he doesn't outside know. The yeah. He's yeah. outside the picture, yeah. yes. So in this case, if you also decide to bottle it up, it is eating you. Mm -hmm. You, It comes haunting you each day. Yeah. And it is going to affect the relationship that you have with the husband. Eventually, you know things will not work yeah but weigh the two sides and see which one you think is going to work for you my telling him mm. how is he going to respond to this yeah is he going to see me as a uh, kind of a, a bad woman yeah a woman who i mean you know that kind of thing and you know some of the men can be very dangerous mm. by the time you wake up the next morning you have become funeral. Mm -hmm. What do you say? Yeah. They can even murder you. So it depends on how you go about it. Okay. Study the man in question. If you think that he is the type that can take this, then you can. We have a lot of people that your husband uh, respects in the yeah. society. Yeah. You can talk to your, hus uh, your pastor. You can see a counselor. And then they take you through the process. Okay. Yeah. What if she might be wrong that the baby is for the man she had an affair with? Because clearly they're married, so they were having sexual intercourse mm -hmm. over a period of time. The fact that you're going to have sex with a certain man mm -hmm. and you have not conducted a DNA test does mm -hmm. not mean that, you know, you can just get up and say, this is the father and this is not the father. Even though they always say a woman always knows who the father of her children mm -hmm. um, is. But it's not concrete. Yeah. It's so what if she's wrong? What if the child is actually for her husband? And if she decides to have this conversation, it will bring a rift in the marriage, even though the man will still find out that the child is his. So what is the reason why she's saying this? Mm. She's guilty. She's, she's guilty. 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 Yeah. Yes. So what is the reason why she's saying that the child is for the, the, other, man. the, the other man? Maybe she's done a DNA test. Mm. Maybe not she hasn't done. Yeah. But in case she hasn't done it, then she needs to go do that. Mm -hmm. And she finds out that it's true that the baby belongs to another man. Another man. Then the I mean the the steps that we're talking about, you need to do it. And the implications are very, very important. Hmm.
the implications are very, very important. You might leave here. So if it's me, I mean, instead of losing you, I'd rather just keep on. And I wrong, like, I like, I, I like, I like where you are coming from. Mm -hmm. Let me just. Yeah. Uh, she might lose her. Yeah. She might lose her him, husband. I mean, the, yeah. the husband. Yes. Yes. That one is one aspect of it. Mm -hmm. How about you are saying it so that you'll be free? What if you tell him and he also, I mean... Forgives you. Forgives you. In this day and age. It is possible. It depends on how you go about it. Oh, I don't think it depends on how you go about it. Because just the fact that you've <laughs> had a baby. And I don't know if Kelly, would you forgive? Bella, I told you the other time that love is God. Uh -huh. And God is love. Mm. And you cannot take God the God factor out of the love factor because okay. they are one. Mm -hmm. So in marriage, you have decided to be in love in that situation. Mm -hmm. There should be nothing hidden from the other person when you have made up your mind to choose this person to be your marital partner. Even if it means that destroy. other factors should have been considered under normal circumstances before that person became your choice. Okay. That's why it's good to marry your best friend. There's nothing that you can't say to your best friend. Not everybody has a best friend. So why marry? You're not permitted to marry anybody who is not your best friend because your best friend is the person who would assist you the most to achieve the purpose for which you are created in the first place. Mm. The person who knows you the most will help you through your life's journey okay. so that you fulfill that which God has given to you to come to the earth to do. So mm. why marry someone who is not your best friend anyway? But so that's, that's what I'm saying, that some people get into marriage. Okay, so let's assume yeah. that's not the reason she got married. Yeah. She needs to understand that her peace is more important than her marriage. Her relationship with God is more important than her marriage, which is her peace. So find peace with yourself. Forgive yourself. Go to, your, um, go to God. Reconcile mm. with God. Go to the authorities in the marriage. How can you be in a marriage and you don't have an authority you look up to? Yeah. These are yeah. factors that should be in place before you get married and during the marriage. Mm. You don't run to people when you have issues. You run to people when you have to relate with them cordially so that when there's an issue, it's easy for them to penetrate. Right now, if there was nobody who they were looking up to in the marriage, it's going to be difficult for the husband to listen to someone who he might call a total stranger because he's never been in the picture. Okay. So what I'm saying is this. It is possible that forgiveness mm -hmm. is in the picture. However, mm -hmm. your peace is more important than that marriage because you can be in that marriage and you lose your sanity. So your peace is more important. If your husband is a responsible man, a genuinely God-fearing personality, mm -hmm. a ge genuinely God-fearing personality, uh -huh. mm -hmm. he would know that he did not marry a flex. He would know that things happen. He would know that this is just a one-time situation. We're talking about situation. kids here. Well, listen, we're, we're not talking let's about let's just talk a, about those kids. No, we're not talking about just you know let, having. See, see, if you could agree to adopt a child uh -huh. with your husband, you sign, you pay, they give you the child, you begin to grow the child. What's the difference between that child? Sex. Your partner cheated on you. Forgive. Things happen. Forgive. Ah, you want to so bear you, that you against? Won't forgive? Apparently, I have forgiven in advance before I even get married. So I'm expecting anything and anything. If my wife murders my mother, You'd forgive I her. would forgive her. Hey, That's what... No. I'm what going to what else you. did, did, did Kelly. Jesus Christ die for? Mm -mm. Kelly, listen, that's listen. Jesus Christ. We are, Jesus, we are human beings. We are beings. meant to represent Jesus. We are supposed to be living after him. Well, I'm talking from a perspective of a Christian. You would. Wow. I would forgive. I what, don't think Linda What agrees. have we done that God can't forgive us about <laughs> well, anyway? You see, what well, are we talking yeah. about? Okay, let me just read a few messages and I'll come to All you. Right. Um, so this one says that since you mistakenly got pregnant, you can mistakenly ask for a divorce if you oh, have a heart. No one deserves this. The girl should not inform her husband because it can break up her marriage and she's not going to find uh, the other guy too. You can never tell. What if the other guy might be looking forward to, you know, uh, getting with this girl as well. So good morning, Bella. I think it's not good to keep secrets from your spouse, but not all secrets have to be told. If I were the woman, I would tell him the truth that the child is not his before he finds out himself. But the woman shouldn't have committed 
committed adultery. Sad story, though. Uh, this will be a very disheartening situation for the man if he should hear it. But I think the best thing is for the woman to let him know or get someone, probably a pastor or elderly person. But then the woman cheated because she's eager for a child. She can't give any excuse for that. I'm feline. Finian from Tamale. Okay. Finally, I have people saying the truth. Thanks for bringing these people, Bella. Kunta from Compton. Thank you so much. I'm Richard Nyame from Wenchi. Woman, uh, thank God you admitted it was a mistake. And so you ask for forgiveness and genuinely confess it to your husband now, uh, rather than letting him find out himself later. All right. And, um... Procreation is key to marriage, and that's the only way we can fill the earth, as the Bible says. Companionship is secondary. Ah, So we can get companionship anytime we want, but we need a wife to give us children to build a family. Companionship is what the church propagates, but cannot be the most important reason for marriage. It's easy to get a companion. That's D.C., Kwache, Cape Coast. If I'm a woman, I would keep it from my husband until he finds out himself. Good morning. I'm really enjoying your discussion, but I'm very disappointed in the woman calling this mistake. How can you, a married woman, go and naked yourself before a different man and get pregnant and you call it a mistake? If it's a mistake, why can't she tell the husband so that the mistake can be corrected? This is Matthias, Ocean Wave, Guest House, Clagon. Thank you. Okay, let's reverse roles, Linda. Yeah. So let's just say it's the man mm. who says that he mistakenly yeah. went to have sex with another yeah. woman because he, his wife wasn't getting, giving him a child. And now he has to confess to the woman that I had another child outside. Yeah. How it, would you handle it? You see, in any case, mm -hmm. in any case, um, my stand still holds. Okay. I am saying that um, sex outside marriage is a sin. It's yeah. wrong. It's yeah. wrong, mm. you see. But then um, we have to do things with wisdom. Okay. Yeah. So we are looking at whether to inform him or her. That is the that, that's the issue at stake. For the sin we have we have all established that is a sin. Yeah. So now the issue here is that let us consider the implications mm. for the people involved. Okay. For me that is that is very very much important. Mm. We are not saying that, I am not saying that don't do the confession. Yeah. But then, what are the issues? Yeah. You may go and complicate the issues. Because look at the man who is involved. If you realize that this guy is this guy who um, can't take such things, you know, he's kind of like someone would say a crazy guy mm. who would just blare off, throw off, I mean, starts being so physical and abusive yeah. Yeah. In, yeah. in this state, then you need to look for a way okay. of making him aware of it. Is you that don't by just speaking to other people he might respect? He might respect okay. so that you send the message to him. Okay. But if you realize that in even doing all those things, it is going to complicate the issues, you need to first of all seek forgiveness from God, whether it be the man or the woman. And then... Look, still look at ways that an order appropriate time to which you can do this. Is kind there of ever thing. an appropriate time to tell your husband yeah. I cheated on you and I had yeah. a child as a result? What, it, what, because I, we are looking at the implications. What is there not to forgive, Bella? This is you a man a for how many? How many years? Eight years? Yeah. You can't impregnate your wife. Oh, don't say. No, hold, no, 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 no. Let's no, look at it no. on on all fronts. No, no, no. No, I'm no. Shy. I'm shy ah, man. let's look at it all round. <laughs> What so if you say he can't forgive? Children come for from God. Years you could not, yes, children come from God. The wife didn't go out looking for a child. It happened. And that's why she called it a mistake. She didn't intend to. Something happened. The child wasn't coming, so she went out. That's, the, the, the story didn't tell us that the, the woman went out looking for uh, someone sleepy because she couldn't have a child. She said it was a mistake. A mistake is something not generally intended. So she went out. Possibly she went on a, on a, on a course in Dubai, uh, in a conference. Something happened and a and fling then, happened. Things happened. You've not wow. been able to impregnate your wife for eight years. She brings a child for you, to you for free. You will not humble yourself and 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 Kelly, and forgive her. Kelly, would you be talking like on. this if you were the man? And that's why I'm putting myself in the in the situation. What kind of sin is unforgivable under the sun? So the fact that you can't impregnate your wife, you should uh, allow her to have a child. I would not. But if marriage? it happens, what do I do? Kill her? Divorce her? Does that make me a better person? If you divorce her, it makes it you a bad person. It doesn't make me a better person. Just means every divorce is born from ego. Period. 
Every divorce is born from ego. There's nothing unforgivable. It's, divorce is a product of two hearts. One heart is, is just not forgiven. One heart just refused to let go. So even if the other person is willing to stay in the marriage, the other person says, no, I'm done. That's what happens when there's a divorce. So a divorce is basically about a situation where one or two mm -hmm. can no longer deal. Okay. And if we look at it, what can we not forgive? What have we done to God that he's holding against us? Mm. Because we are m meant to model. Marriage is a model about how God has married us. He is the groom, we are the bride. So if you want to get married, if I must marry you, mm. the, the um, union should be a prototype of how God sees us okay. as his church, as his people. So if, if, look, like I said, if my wife mm. happens to kill my mother, whether it was out of psychological situations or it just happened, something happened or it was an accident or it was deliberate, what can I do? You'll forgive her. She has come to say she's sorry. Sorry can't bring back my mother. Mm -hmm. But I can't. What's wrong with forgiving if I must wow. live a life? Look, marriage is no fun. This is a commitment of a lifetime. So it's no matter either, what, even if they are killing you, isn't that no, no, saying no. that? Let's if just say. If you are killing me, uh -huh. if it is against my life, I walk out. But if it's against because your mother, no, you no, 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 no. But she's dead. My point is this: you offend me, I forgive you. Uh -huh. You are doing, and the only two reasons why a marriage should break is why when one is willing to make it work and the other person deliberately walks away. What do that you do? You move on. Break. The second thing is if the other person is doing something contrary to your faith because the person is in that marriage mm. to boost your faith to become something better for the one who joined you both yeah. together, which is God. Anything outside that is forgivable, please. All right. All right. Let me go ahead and read some more messages uh, before I bring Linda in. So, Nana Kwachua Chelsea says, keep quiet, my dear. Do you know the number of people fathering people's children? Kelly, <laughs> Samson and someone, and that actually got 22 replies. I wish I could read all of them. Wow. I'm sure there's a banter. <laughs> oh, should I open it up? Okay, let's see uh, what people have to say. But whilst we are waiting for that, King Asari Nana Kwachua Chelsea says, ha ha ha, I just fell in love with your comments, but how long shall this lady live with this guilt? Can you hold on to this secret forever? Easier. Okay. And um, Pope Afenu King Asari says, be there. Some of them die with that secret. You know, you don't know men. You don't know women. I'm surprised this one claims she no longer is comfortable about hiding it. This one is laughing. Okay. I guess these are all comments under that particular comment as well. Fear them and save your life, bro. That's King Asari Pope Afenu. And Joseph Maji says, hmm, women of today. All right. Uh, Bami Tahi Mohammed said, let me borrow the words of Ola wrote to me when he said in his book that gods are not to blame. Uh, that when a wood insect gathers sticks on its own head, it carries them. The funny aspect of life is that we fail to think deeply about the consequences. Ooh, this is long. Of our actions and inactions before we take decisions. It is only when the repercussions of it comes that we begin to lament. If she says she mistakenly had sex with another man, what does it mean? Is it to say that she was raped and she or she did it under the influence of drugs or maybe alcohol? I'm adding that to your comment. Um, didn't she consider the possibility that she could get pregnant if she did that? Let's say Akpos has a problem. She tried the legitimate way to solve it, but it didn't work. She decided to do Kwa Kwa to get her problem solved. But there are two evils here. She cheated on her husband to get a child, which has brought happiness to the family uh, because the husband isn't aware of how the child came. Akpos, one, will either break her secret to her husband um, and break her marriage or bond because everyone in a million men will still keep a wife for reasons of infidelity. Okay, is that true? And then two... Or keep it to herself and forever remain guilty. She should choose one. <laughs> Linda. She should choose one. Mm. Choose a hustle. Mm. So, okay. They also say that sometimes it's, it's wrong to involve people in your mm. marriage. Yeah. Uh, when there's a problem, you should discuss it between you and your partner. Mm. But in this case, this is such a grave mistake. Yeah that cannot only, I, I feel like maybe she shouldn't even consider talking to the husband directly because mm. no matter how she does it, yeah. it will still go bad. Mm. She needs to involve people. Mm. At this point, who do I go to? Your mother, my mother, a pastor, who should I speak to first? Yeah, I think that um, you need to seek the, um, the counsel mm -hmm. of someone you know mm -hmm. that your husband respects. Okay. Respects. Mm. It could be your pastor, 
it could be a counselor. Yeah, so you see, those people are outside the family. Because you see, sometimes when you immediately get family members into this, mm -hmm. After you have forgiven, yeah. family members are unable to forgive. Yeah. So they still hold, hold it against you. you. Mm. That is why when you have an issue with your husband and you let your parents know, after you have done, you know, when you go inside and you do your things and you have solved it, you go and your, your uh, in-laws are looking at you some way. Look at mm, him. You, yeah. you did this, yeah. but you are forgotten. Mm. So get someone outside the marriage do you think your husband respects okay and then talk to the person and i know that with wisdom like we are talking about mm. the the i mean we we'll know how the pe your husband is able to cope okay. and adjust okay All there right. are two issues here mm. you need to get your husband prepared to be able to cope or to adjust to the situation okay because if he is not ready, like I have said, it even becomes even worse than you, you thought mm. it would be. Because right. he would divorce, he might divorce you. Mm. And you know, our level of resilience are not the same. Yeah. What Kelly might take, you, you might cannot take. take. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So we have to consider all those psychological, I mean, things about each personality. All right. My time is up. Let me, let, let me ask this last question and I'll let Kelly answer it. You're saying that if I divorce the woman, I'm wrong. But a lot of people would also say that asking for a divorce in this instance mm -hmm. is okay. I would not say divorcing the woman is wrong. The, the divorce is your choice. Okay. And it's scripturally binding that mm -hmm. if this happens, you are free. You are free, But yeah. how much grace can you contain? How much maturity do you have to keep it? That's most important. All right. However, what we should concentrate on on now on this case where, where the case has got into is the woman should be ready to deal with the consequences of this okay. knowing that god's grace is behind you the truth is there's nothing you go through god cannot deliver you from mm. there's no situation that god cannot get you out of but you need to understand that your peace your relationship with god anything that will take away your prayer life is toxic all right and so you need to avoid it and so say the truth Say it in wisdom, find a solution in calmness, seek counsel. You need to psychologically be worked on even before All you right. go into um, getting this done. But right. find peace, that's most important, find with peace. yourself. Linda signaled me, 10 seconds, yeah, I'm being... I, I, yes, yeah. let us not make children the center of marriage. Right. Okay. All it right. is important. All right. Mm. Okay. So, our time is up. <laughs> Kelly, our time on, is up. We on, have to go. On Instagram, I'm Kelly Daniels. Okay. Look for me now. Kelly Daniels on Instagram. Let's talk. I'll give you a free book. This is called Five Laws of Friendship. I'll send it to you when you reach me on Thank Instagram. You. Right? Kelly I Daniels. Got a on Instagram, <laughs> Kelly Daniels Linda office. Mante. Yes, she got Sorry, it. Sorry, I took it. Yes, and Linda Monte also Linda on Monte social on Facebook all right. and all the social so media. So Kelly handles. Daniels yeah. office on Instagram. Kelly and Daniels office. God TV bless. three Ghana on Instagram, Facebook, <laughs> and Twitter.